Now I gotta say, boys, there's something deeply satisfying about fixing a clapped out old piece of sh It's already dickered, what are you gonna fuck it more? Might as well have a go at it, what? Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. So we're gonna troubleshoot it, and if and we can't, I mean, we can fix anything given enough time and money, but, and just to give you a clue what's going on here. Power it up. So it's getting power, obviously to here, but the trigger, the, the actual motor is either burned out or the the trigger or you know some electronic doodad in there is, is burnt right out of her. I'm betting it's some sort of electronic doodad. Permanent magnet DC motor. Yeah, that's working fine. Nothing seized up in there. So problem's got to be electric. All right, we're in like sin and perfect. We have a textbook failure. Can't wait to show you. And this is this is perfect, perfect for guys who are afraid of the pixies and the ones and zeros wrangling. Or I shouldn't say afraid, just not familiar with it. You know that they're afraid to jump in because they feel it's over their head. Here's the problem. If it looks like shit, smells like shit, and tastes like shit, it's probably shit. Really not much to it, just follow the Hershey squared here. And aha, we're there. Blew the trace right off the board, high power trace. Blew a cap and a resistor, surface mount resistor off. And you can see the fiberglass in the, uh, what is this, P, P4? PC4, PB4, something four. Okay, good news, because we still have some copper here, this is potentially salvageable. I have done this before where we run a, uh, just a jumper wire and then put in the new components here, the new discrete semiconductors. That is an international rectifier MOSFET, HEXFET type thing. It's essentially a, a switch, solid state switch. 40 volts, 120 amps rated. You see this guy blew. Shit, it's guts right out. And then the lead over here got got a little warm. Blew it right out. So, if we wanted to fix that, we could. But let's see how much it's going to cost us. Yeah, a dollar ninety-one plus eight dollars shipping. Be here tomorrow before noon. It's incredible. DigiKey. Incredible. Now, our other option is to replace this whole board. I'm going to see how much, if at all possible, and how much it's going to cost us. Well, there we have it. Welcome to the world of throwaway tools. Unfortunately, the thing is uh, 60 bucks US. Factor in the arm and a dick, it's going to cost to ship it up to the great Canadian wasteland. Now what I'm going to do, I'll give her a poke anyway with the DigiKey parts. We'll try and get that chooched in there, see if we can get it working. I mean, that's eight bucks shipping plus uh, I bought three of them, so five something Canadian. Hopefully it works. Well, today we'll is Junji from the Detritus Strata on the workbench a few days later. And the wife's gone for the weekend. Uh, little chickadees in bed. I already peed the bed once tonight, so hopefully I won't get interrupted. Got my uh, cup of cowboy coffee here. What for staying up all night long and messing around uh, in the workshop. Look at this, though. This is incredible. What an age we live in, says every person in the history of the world. 12 hours from order time to at my door in the frozen tundra of British Columbia. Incredible, incredible what an age we live in. I have the parts, or at least I have the box. And it's an international rectifier FB7746PBF uh, TO220 package. I wasn't aware of this international rectifier got bought by uh, Infineon. I'm not that familiar with Infineon. I think they're a German IGBT manufacturer mainly. Yeah. MOSFETs and HEXFETs and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I'm not familiar with them because they don't give any Jeezless samples. One to break, one to fix, and one to rattle around the bottom of somebody's lunch pail at the end of shift. I set the solder in this and it was a pain in the cunning linguals because I don't have my solder sucker. Insert wife going away joke here, but in appendix D, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, gate, drain, source. So the gate is the the trigger. What for flicking the little switch there? And then there is our drain. So positive pixies come in. No. Pot, uh, body diode. 
something something. No, because that stops it. Oh yeah, but that turns it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So positive pixies come in and go through here when they when the gate is on and uh, go down to the source. So we see here the source, and that's the one that burnt out. So it burnt out the ground. What the F, yo? So I gotta get out the old fruk and do some reverse engineering, figure out how I trigger that drain. Focus, you fuck! Okay, near as I can tell, this little resistor here, it's actually still intact. It's paralleled with the capacitor. This appears to be going to the gate of this transistor. So we'll just run this over, run the gate, and this is the drain. This goes to ground drain. No, this is the source, and it goes to ground. So I'm just going to run a jumper from here to here and hope for the best. What else are you going to do? Well, I didn't figure on repairing it quite so kludgy, but I hope you like your repairs bodgy because it doesn't get any worse than this. I cut an isolation slot in the burnt up PCB board. What for, uh, well, carbon is conductive, so you got to break that up. And there's a tiny little wire that goes to the gate of that transistor and then ground here and it's going to go to this source pin. Well, I got her fabric cobbled together enough to give her a test. Better grab the biggest battery we can, what for making a smoke show if it doesn't work. Okay, engage safety squints. <laughs> right fucking on, boys. Now, I gotta say, boys, there's something deeply satisfying about fixing a clapped out old piece of sh It's already dickered. What are you gonna fuck it more? Might as well have a go at her, what? It's amazing what you can accomplish when you ain't afraid of messing up. I always learn something, whether it's, holy shit, that made a big explosion, or. <laughs> Also, shout out to Clark Griswold and Muffin Top from uh, Tools in Action. They're, they do reviews, you know, the typical feels good in the hand reviews. However, they were kind enough to send me some of their cast offs. Of course, I don't accept anything from manufacturers and frankly, they fucking hate me. So why would they send me anything? It's nice to be able to fix stuff. <laughs> oh. 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 No reverse action. Son of a diddly. Well, thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Good stiff cowboy coffee. The kind you can chew. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm not quite sure what that means, but my wife says it all the time.